I've never felt the need to do a video on a Google Chrome extension before, but today's entry is so important and such a game changer that I thought it might be useful to make an exception to that. Let's take a look at Font Rendering Enhancer for everybody's favorite web browser. I'll pick this up and check this out. While I've been using Firefox Quantum as my main browser for a couple of years now, my day job still utilizes a handful of web-based applications that simply work better in Chrome. Unfortunately, in using those for hours on end, I'm reminded of the main reason why I quit using Chrome in the first place, and that was because of the crummy text rendering. It's almost unnoticeable until you compare side by side but this is truly one of those things, not unlike the arrow in the FedEx logo, that can't be unseen once you've noticed it. So prepare to have your mind blown if you've never spotted this before. The crux of the matter is that due to a tiny mistake in the code, Chrome draws all of its text slightly too thin, at least compared to the way that most other applications, and especially web browsers, are configured. It's just bad enough so as to be slightly annoying, but not so atrociously terrible that everybody necessarily sees it right away. For that reason, it hasn't been reported widely enough for the bug report to have gained significant traction. The good news is that we don't have to take measures as drastic as compiling from source code, even just to fix a problem that stems from such a minor mistake, as there is third-party software that can compensate for the error. There isn't much to say about the add-on itself. After you install it, the configuration utility consists of a slider scale that the user can adjust to one of 100 different preset levels. I found that to achieve the closest possible parallel with Firefox, a value in the low to mid 50s is where you want to be. Once done, the text is almost indistinguishable from a properly configured web browser, even side by side, and the only thing left out of the improvement is that of the user interface elements, such as menus and tabs. The Chrome, if you will. Keep in mind that the changes take effect the next time you load a page, and not necessarily right away. What you're left with is an immense improvement that brings Chrome's browsing performance to a level that once again rivals that of Firefox Quantum. The effect varies based on font, size, and zoom level, with the improvement being more dramatic for some web pages than it is for others, but thanks to a little creative thinking on the part of the developer, the browser battle is fueled forward for yet another year. Thanks for watching.